वेलकम टू मरीन टेक हब टूडे लाइक टू थैंक ऑल माई सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड टू मेक मरीन टेक हब टू द हाइएस्ट लेवल सो मेंबरशिप लेवल फाइव विल गेट फुल सपोर्ट फॉर वन ईयर विथ ऑल वीडियो लिंक्स एंड ऑल ट्रबल शूटिंग आई विल बी हेल्पिंग यू सो चीफ इंजीनियर्स एंड इवन जूनियर इंजीनियर्स कॉलिंग फ्रॉम द शिप आई एम गिविंग अ रियल टाइम हेल्प फॉर ऑल मशीनरीज so that you can save time and money and off fire for the company okay guys uh, today we will continue with the oxley boiler this is the part 2 of the video uh, in part 1 of the video i have explained the different components here so all these components i have explained module and all so we will uh, we will see how to start the boiler okay so we will proceed okay next to start the boiler we require the trip amplifier this is the trip amplifier which is sending signal to the plc the plc we have module 1 to 5 now right now module 1 and 12 so this is 1.12 this is 12 is nothing but burner start stop signal okay the same thing is written over here you can read that it is uh, so that i'll be able to help you out so this is a trip amplifier the first the signal will go from the trip amplifier to the plc okay next we'll proceed second so second thing what is there is now the signal is going for the atomizing steam wall okay atomizing steam wall need to be open now green you can see this is open and fd fan need to be started so initially the interlock should be there okay the otherwise it will not open because if this is in the open condition then it will draw huge current so right now you can see the module of plc 3 that is you can see the first one first one is telling start combustion fd fan so this is the one then 3 is open atomizing steam wall so this is the steam wall then you can see last one burner normal stop conditions now it is in the stop condition okay this is what it is written over here so now if you say 3.3 means module 3 and 0.3 will be this one okay if it is say 3.0 then it will be this one okay so all these components i have explained okay so it is it is very simple provided you understand how it is working okay we'll go to the third so right right now what we have started the fd fan you can see here so the signal is going to module number 1.2 one one module is 1 point 2 is this one so low atomizing steam so now what is happening is the wall is opening and atomizing steam will go for this so fd fan need to be running initially at the close position then it need to purge at 70% okay then after purging it will again come to 20% so after 20% then the fuel has to be given so we'll go one by one so in this stage uh, feedback of atomizing steam pressure uh normal sent to plc so it is sent to the plc here okay the plc is very important plc is nothing but program logistic control okay very important here so atomizing steam is uh, required for main burner but if the boiler is in the cold condition then you will not have the atomizing steam here in that way you have to open the air wall and close the steam wall okay so very important when you are firing from cold condition okay we will go to the next so here what we are doing is you can see sequence proceed after plc receives fd fan running feedback feedback is this one okay there is combustion air fan running so this is running right now okay it is getting a feedback next you can see here uh this is purging okay normally we want to purge uh, to push all the flue gas inside the 
boiler okay so you have to need to push the flue gas the closed position request 4.6 4.6 means 4 is this 6 is this okay closed position request that means it, this is in the closed position okay so the signal is going from air oil controller to the PLC and back okay so right now you can see this if uh, if it is not in the closed position then uh, it will not start okay so interlock will be there so this is in the closed position you can see the air oil controller deactivated purge position request 4.8 activated 4 is module 4 0.8 is this one purge position request activated okay so now you can see airflow value signal sends to PLC 1.13 1 is here 13 is here low combustion airflow okay let's move further you can see here now the purging 70% now you can see this uh, this is becoming 70 you can see the FD fan is moving out that means it's opening up so air will be going until you are getting 70 here so this is the purging operation okay you can see here purge means air flow 70 percent and oil flow will be 20 percent so we have the air oil controller this is the air oil controller send signals to the FD fan this is the FD fan for the vane positioner this is the vane positioner here the veins open till the air flow comes to 70 now uh, it is already opened and it has come to 70 now proceed further you can see purging ok you can see the signal going here once the purging position is achieved 70% is achieved the air oil control sends a signal to the PLC 115 this means purge position already achieved ok so now we will move further now what is happening is we have to uh, give a ignition position so ignition position will happen ok now you can see here the FD fan is closing up vane is closing up it will come to 20% once it comes to 20% that means we are ready to fire the pilot burner so ignition position they are 20% and oil 20% both will be 20-20 for the firing to be required ok so you can see the controller set signal and the vane positioner both are checked so this has come to 20% now we will go further ok we need to put the pilot burner in use now next we see here ignition so what is happening is uh, you can see the signal coming here ignition position this is the pilot burner will go inside you can see uh, controller send signals to PLC 2.0 2 and 0 now ignition will go further now it has come 20 percent if go further you can see here this is moving inside once it's moved inside you can see it's firing it will start firing when the diesel oil pump starts and we got two solenoid walls uh, to operate if one of the solenoid not working it will diesel will not go so solenoid wall 2 is required just to avoid any leakage if this should that's why they have two then we got air air is going here there is a solenoid wall here so the air is going and there will be a spark there will be a spark uh, will be generated for the ignition okay so this is the pneumatic cylinder is there to move it in so the air this one here solenoid it has pushed in and this then this is for push up then we got the pilot burner flame sensor is there then this is for the main burner sensor so now the pilot burner has come now we need to push the main burner once you push the main burner then you can th this will catch up the fire with the help of the pilot burner so we go to next next is what is happening is the fuel has to come from here right now the fuel is returning back so the fuel has to go here then it will go to the main burner ok this is one 
atomizing steam is already it will come through this atomizing steam okay so here a magnetic switch that is the insert feedback signal will come to 110 so 10 is here so that means insert if the lens if this main burner if it is not inserted correctly then there is an interlock okay so this you can see here plc is telling it is inserted you can see here for the 1.10 you can see here this one okay the uh, plc sends out signal to 3.13 3 is here 13 is here okay so it is saying ignition lens inserted okay uh, once the pilot flame is established that means flame is already established and the flame eye sends the signal flame eye will of the pilot burner will send a signal to 2.11 you can see that ignition flame on that means pilot burner is okay this signal is coming via the trip amplifier okay next we will go to okay now what is happening is uh, you can see the oil wall is open and once the oil wall is op opening the oil is flowing and with the help of the pilot burner you are able to get the flame you can see the main flame i will give a signal at the same time the oil which was going return here now the oil you can see here it is going green color so the oil this is the oil flow and this is the controller here so now it is working so the signals are going accordingly you can see here limit switch for oil open this is 1. Point, you can see this is 1.9 1.9 so oil open and one more signal is here module number 3 this is open oil wall so this is how it is so it is working once the when you stop then you will have the steam coming through this purge and it will push any oil is there that will push okay now after this you have the safety time safety time what will happen is it will set check whether the main burner is working all right then later on the pilot burner will uh, be off and it will come up okay the main flame eye comes into action the main flame eye that is 1.5 1.1 is this 5 is here okay if we do not see the flame if the flame sensor is not sensing then the flame failure alarm will be activated and the boiler will shut down okay the pilot burner assist the main burner during this period okay got it so the sensor has to work and the flame should be achieved if the sensor is faulty then also there will be shut down flame may be there but the sensor is not working all right then there will be shut down further a flame stable once the flame is stable what is happening is uh, the pilot burner will coming out you can see this is coming out and now the main burner is working so ignition signal from plc 3.1 3 is this one module and one is here so you can see here start ignition so ignition this is the signal deactivated and the pilot burner stops firing and it is purged with air then is extracted okay before the pilot burner is gone so air will be pushed so any diesel oil is there it will burn then this will pushed up got it so now it is you can see the boiler is firing this is mode free this is the last one in mode free what is happening is ignition position request 4.9 4.9 is here purge position request and uh, you can see the air control deactivated modulation free request 4.11 modulation free request is here 4.11 is activated boiler load starts to modulate depends on whether it is in the auto or cascade mode auto or cascade mode you can see here auto or cascade mode okay this is the uh, final stage but but once you want to stop the uh, boiler then once the boiler stops the oil which is here that amazing uh, purge valve will open and push 
any oil here okay okay guys uh, i think uh, uh, this is the full uh, uh, sequence of firing if you like the video please subscribe and uh, my address is there email address is there my telephone number is there everything is there this is for the junior engineers uh, who are who want to know how the boiler is firing and uh, if you have any doubt let me know have a nice day thank you very much